Chaz uses Eugenie to keep Frogmore relevant as he chases Hollywood Dream. Remember when Harry generously offered Frogmore Cottage to Princess Eugenie and her husband? Now, it emerges that this was perhaps less about familial generosity and more about a strategic move to keep his properties occupied and relevant while he embarked on Hollywood ambitions. It's no surprise that he now plans to drag young Archie into the limelight, carting him off to Africa for an upcoming Netflix documentary. And why? To ensure his son doesn't miss out on big moments, or perhaps more cynically, to guarantee himself some much-needed positive press. The Duke of Sussex's overt desire for independence from the monarchy is in direct opposition to the public's perception of his actions. For a man wanting a quieter life away from the paparazzi's flashbulbs, he seems remarkably at ease thrusting himself into the media frenzy, especially when it serves his narrative. Take the coronation of King Charles III. Harry made a solitary appearance without his family, ensuring he'd capture more than his fair share of headlines. While he professes a desire to reconnect with his royal roots, sources hint at Harry's ulterior motives. One can't help but think that if he genuinely cared about repairing his relationships within the firm, he wouldn't continually participate in public spectacles that divert attention away from royal affairs and onto his personal dramas. Meghan, on the other hand, is no stranger to the camera's allure, having enjoyed her previous career in the film and television industry. But her relationship with Harry seems to have amplified her penchant for controversy. From the early days when she and Harry supposedly showed off their relationship in Toronto, there's been an unending saga of attention-grabbing exploits. It's perplexing that the Duke and Duchess, who so passionately declared their need for privacy and space, are continually embroiled in situations that scream otherwise. They seem to be at the epicenter of a whirlwind of gossip, be it their rift with the royal family or their good relationship with other royals like Eugenie and Jack. One might wonder if their decisions are less about genuine connection and more about shaping the public image. Their supposed bond with princesses Beatrice and Eugenie, which sources claim remains untainted despite the family turmoil, reeks of a strategic move. Are they using these relationships to maintain a semblance of royal connection while distancing themselves from more influential family members? Furthermore, insiders have highlighted that the Duke of Sussex and his brother, Prince William, have inherently different priorities. While William is conscientiously preparing for his inevitable role as king, focusing on his family and duty, Harry appears to be chasing a different kind of throne, one of media supremacy. The contrast between the two couldn't be starker. The criticisms are not just limited to their professional choices. Neighbors and acquaintances, from Montecito to London, seem to be unanimous in their portrayal of the couple as aloof and distant. Tales of their hotness abound from ignoring greetings to purportedly inviting paparazzi to private clubs, much to the discomfort of others. The irony of it all is that while Prince Harry and Meghan Markle consistently vocalize their desire for privacy, their actions sing a completely different tune. They have seemingly entangled themselves in a web of media manipulation, leaving many to question their sincerity. In essence, the ongoing Harry and Meghan circus is a masterclass in contradictions. The couple, claiming to seek privacy and a simpler life, seems addicted to the spotlight's glare, even if it means alienating themselves from family, friends, and the public at large. One can only hope that they find the peace they profess to desire, lest they become entirely consumed by their own narrative.